Game for the Stars Foundation is all about providing financial and moral support to women across Australia to achieve their dreams. The reason I really focus on the girls is because I came from a very male-dominated sport, which is surfing, and I saw the disparity in level of support for the girls before the guys, and I thought, I need to focus on empowering and supporting girls. So I pride myself in doing that. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the 2012 Aim for the Stars fundraising event. The Foundation's goal is to provide moral and financial support to females across a wide range of pursuits in the areas of sport, academia, business, environmental, community and culture. The Foundation supports females with initiative and passion who are committed to achieving a dream and who are courageous enough to ask for some help along the way. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today and I'm really grateful for what you have done. So thank you so much. The need for connectedness and support has never been greater. Diverting our youth from crime and trouble and preventing them from becoming trapped in the downward spiral of boredom is increasingly important. So this foundation inspires girls and women of the community to become role models and ambassadors. Our belief in them inspires positivity, initiative, passion, realisation and happiness. And after nine years and over five hundred thousand dollars worth of grants, we have a rich history of achievement, and we'll be hearing about a lot of those tonight. So I was in London as an athlete liaison officer, and that required the services of myself, John Eels, Kieran Perkins, and Steve Waugh as a mentor to the athletes of the whole Australian Olympics. I'd just like to say that the your Aim for the Stars Foundation was played a pivotal role in in my preparation for the Olympics. It has given me a grant which has helped so much more than you can imagine. Thank you to everyone that's bought a ticket and made the effort to be here tonight. You've made an enormous difference to me. Um, the Kickstart grant has really helped me and I really appreciate it. Achieve my dream in 2014 to come first at the World Championships. My goal is to represent Australia with the aim of making the 2016 Olympic Games. I'm Caitlin Reed, I'm 15 years old and I want to be the first Australian female Formula 1 driver. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to become the second female athlete to compete at a winter and a summer Paralympic Games. <laughs> this grant will help me um, excel in my chosen sport and to show everyone my ability rather than my disability. But more importantly, the enthusiasm and kindness that the Foundation has given us, such as climate change and poverty. And I don't know really how to express my gratitude to not only Lane Beachley, but also the Aim for the Stars Foundation. Well, Australians are really lucky to have the Great Barrier Reef right on the doorstep. And because of this Foundation and Lane Beachley, thank you so much. This grant will enable me to further my academic studies, as I am hoping to become a psychologist and help others. I was lucky enough to be able to continue my studies and to obtain a job in an industry I'm so passionate about. Major Foundation sponsors. Macquarie. KEMG. Winston Vacation Resorts Asia Pacific. Thank you for accommodating this year's grand winners. Ergo Asia. Carol Gibbons Photography for the calendars. CPA Women in Focus. An incredible inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul the Bill. The shark took me underwater shaking him, and that's when the pain kicked in. It was the most excruciating thing I've ever felt in my life. Write me down in a history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may try to be down in the very dirt, and still like the dust I rise. Does my happiness upset you? And if all else fails, just have a laugh. Because life is far too important to be taken seriously. <laughs> Thank you very much. After meeting about half an hour, the first thing I said to him when I interviewed him, I said, did it ever occur to you to scream shark? <laughs> and he said, no, all I was screaming was get it off, get it off, get it off. So the three words that I'd have to best describe for would be humour, humility and honesty. We can all take so much from him. He is such an inspiration. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us tonight. I've just been offered a chance to perform at the Melbourne Equitana 
an act where I have been dreaming about since I was 12 years old, where I get to finally dance with horses. Doing a health and wellbeing forum um, aimed on the struggles of young women, so um, you have touched so much more than myself. I'm believing in you. I would like to thank Lane Rich for helping me for my course. Thank you so much. Speaking with a few different sort of disfigurements can achieve anything that they want to. They can be more than a red face. Megan and the Aim for the Stars Foundation um, for helping me and having faith in me to um, reach my goals. Right, 1500 straight away, sir. 1100 here, 1500. You're not quite there. We've been on every single one tonight, so. 4,600 for the second time. For the third and final time, silent and done. Looking for a ride to top of that. 4, 6. So, 